Hi, welcome back. Um, we're just after the Christmas break. This is our own house and we've put a new kitchen in. And the last video we showed you was plumbing in the, the pipe work for the SS5 Space Saver heater. Um, the fifth heater here is this one. Nice little bit of kit. Um, and it needs plumbing in. So all I've got to do today is attach these two service valves to these two pipes and hook up the electric and we'll be away. So the plinth has already been cut out, ready to go, so I'm just going to put these in. I put the service valves on this end for one particular reason, is that should I need to get to it, it's a far easier to get to it whilst pulling it out and we can shut the valves off here the more it is if the valves were where the old radiator was at the other end. So here we go, I'm just going to quickly put these up. I put some Fernox jointing compound on the inside edge of the service valve and I'm just going to push that on there, put the nut down, so my arm's in the way. Jointing compound will ensure you get a decent watertight joint. I just need to lift. You put a second. Okay. I just needed to lift that up slightly with my level, so I've got some room for it to manoeuvre. And that should do. And that one. Right, same for this one. Well, this one's a little bit closer. The level can come out for that one. There we go. Let's push it on there. Push the nut up to it with the olive. That's that done. So let's just see if we've got any leaks. So, turn the service valve on. Turn the service valve on. Lovely. Nothing there. And then we've got a bleed valve here, which I need a bigger screwdriver for. Right, so just got a bigger screwdriver and it's too big. Um, Bores. Okay. Right, so it's going to bleed it. Hear the air coming out of the system. That's it. Lovely. So I've just got to wire in the electrics. And that goes to a, a fuse spur which is just on the countertop. Just behind the bread. That's it. <laughs> 